Welcome back to the channel, my friends. Warhammer Man Studios. I'm Warhammer Man, and it's time to take a look at what's coming to Warhammer 40,000 in 2024. This video is sponsored by CMO Games. More on that later. It's been a phenomenal year for Warhammer 40,000 miniatures, and with codexes for Orcs, the Adeptus Custodes, Tau Empire, and more on the way, we've got a lot to look forward to in 2024. What exactly? We're not telling. It would be a shame to spoil it for those who love the thrill of a juicy reveal, after all. But since you're here, we do have a tease-filled video to charge your thinking caps, so have a look and tell us what you think. Okay, so we just saw the Dark Angels reveal, and the next three codexes are Orcs, Custodes, and Tau Empire. Alright, so obviously that was our Custodes, there's our Orcs. Let's see what they got for the Tau Empire. So very, very cool. Definitely looking forward to all this. All right, so we see Angron, and this was my vote for Model of the Year, this or Lionel Johnson. So we'll see who ends up winning. I think it could go either way. I think a Space Marine Primarch is more likely to win, but Angron's just such a crazy model. Leviathan was probably the best box ever released by Games Workshop, best value. Immotech the Stormlord, pretty cool, pretty popular. I don't really see like the same excitement from him, uh, like personally. Okay, so that's our custode. That was a crew on Narlock there. All right, let's go back and take a look at this. Okay, so here is our custode. So he has a shield. We could see the spear. And then he kind of appears to be in a sort of like crouching position. Kind of tough to tell. Cool little plume on his head. Looks a little bit like a Leagues of Votan model because of like the squatted stature. Uh, but again, it, tactical rock right here. Looks like the leg bent right there. Kind of like a forward move. Okay, there we see like the Custode Eagle. And then of course, obviously, that is one of the spears. So I don't know, maybe some sort of like lieutenant model or something like that. I guess we kind of already got that with the shield captain. Or the, um. oh yeah. Okay, so that's like a, what? It's a crew carnivore on the Narlock, I think is what they're called. They used to sell them from Forge World. Maybe still do. Let's see if we can get a good profile here. Okay, awesome. So he's got like a little monocular in one hand, holding like a uh, polearm weapon in the other hand, and then riding what appears to be one of those creatures. Yeah, very nice. Definitely looking forward to that. As we know, Games Workshop does some really good reptile models. Awesome. Okay, and then here is our orc. So not the best angle right here, but it looks like he has some kind of weapon right there. We see like a, maybe either a custom teleporter. Possibly. I don't know. I'm thinking this is going to be a character. Okay. So that's like a crazy, like kind of laser gun type thing going on there. We see like the banner pole sticking up. I'm thinking maybe it's a big mech. I don't know. Possibly. We'll see. Like the current range for the... The bros in Mega Armor has like the Big Mac with like the custom teleporter. Or no, it's a custom force field, I think. So maybe this is going to be like a new, more like dynamic pose going on there. But uh, looks like it's pretty big. Looks pretty awesome just from the profile here. All right, so very cool. Could you spot anything that looks strangely familiar? Perhaps a little detail spied on one of this year's Advent engines? Make sure to let us know on the socials what you think is on the horizon and will nod and smile politely. To the new year very cool very exciting i'm definitely looking forward to this stuff i definitely enjoy the uh previews when they kind of show it off and we get to speculate a little bit just going back up here to what they said at the top though i couldn't agree with this statement possibly more it would be a shame to spoil it for those who love the thrill of a juicy reveal and that is totally the truth like it's almost impossible in this day and age to avoid spoilers and it seems like with almost every reveal anymore like a couple hours or maybe like a couple days even before we get like the actual nice detailed beautiful like reveals from games workshop everything gets spoiled and like i get it i get the excitement and everything and i totally get the like craving for the views and like you know there's a couple people out there who have like inside connections to like leakers or whatever but it really is a shame because you kind of like rob the true excitement of stuff when you get like a little like potato cam preview of something ahead of time if it was up to me if i was games workshop and i was really trying to stop it I would definitely like flush some fake stuff down the pipeline or I would like slightly change the color on like some of the images and then be able to like narrow down what department or like what person is doing the leak. And I would flush them out just like they do in like the mobster movies when they're trying to catch like a narc. But, you know, obviously there's a lot of speculation that they do it intentionally as like marketing. Who knows? But regardless, 
you definitely like, uh, you know, kind of like opening your presents the night before and then like retaping them up only to like pretend to be surprised on Christmas morning. Now a quick message from today's sponsor. CMO Games has been selling Games Workshop products online for over 20 years. They carry the full line of Games Workshop products, including Warhammer 40,000, Age of Sigmar, Necromunda, Blood Bowl, Paint Tools, and more. Almost all Games Workshop products are priced at 15% off MSRP. CMO Games takes pre-orders for most Games Workshop products released at their earliest date possible. 12.01 a.m. on Saturday, they go live. Most of these pre-order products are also priced at 15% off MSRP. CMO Games offer free shipping in the U.S. 48 with an order of $50 or more. Their customer service is top-notch and they ship most orders within 24 hours. Visit CMOGames.com using the affiliate link in the description and let them know that you heard about CMO Games from Warhammer Man. Now, back to the video. But that being said, very cool. Definitely looking forward to this. So we saw massive reveals for the Dark Angels. We now see a new character, it looks like, for the Orcs, a new character for the Custodes, and then, of course, a Tau Empire Kroot Narlock Rider type deal. I'm sure there's going to be a lot more to come with those, and I believe those are the next three codexes as well. So what do you think was the actual reveals here? And then what do you hope the reveals are and like what's going to be coming as well? Uh, me personally, I've been really enjoying the orc range and there's like tons of amazing and awesome stuff I've been like excited to paint up and just haven't gotten to. So I'm not really sure like what's on my list. I love all the like beast snagger stuff and obviously I'm a massive fan of squigs. So I'm pretty much okay with anything. That model looked like it was pretty cool. As far as custodes though, I would really, really like to see them bring some of the Forge World stuff into plastic. They've been absolutely killing it with like a lot of the stuff coming from Forge World for Horus Heresy that they brought into plastic, a lot of like iconic kits. So I would love for them to like do the couple of tanks and dreadnoughts. I mean, I know it's probably a tall order for us to get like all three of the dreadnoughts and the tanks as well. But I think if they did like at least like the main kind of like battle tank, Maybe with like the turret variants, that would be pretty awesome. And then possibly like a dual kit with the two like smaller dreadnoughts. So you'd have like the spear or the sword and shield. That would be pretty amazing as well. And then for Tau Empire, I would love for them to expand on the crew range. Obviously those models are amazing. That Narlock looks awesome. I love the new crew hounds from like the Far Stalker Kin Band. Those models are absolutely amazing. So we know there's a ton of potential. Um, really though, if I could pick one unit, I was going to say like some different auxiliaries, but I think I would go with Vespids. If we got plastic Vespids, that would be amazing. The old models are super cool. They are unique, like nothing else in the entire range, really in like the 40k universe. But of course, it's a shame that they're in metal. So I think plastic Vespids would be like the number one most exciting thing. And then maybe like uh, another like big battle suit. The Ghost Keel is absolutely awesome. Big fan of the Riptide as well. So maybe something like along those lines, either like a variant of either the Ghost Kill or Riptide or maybe something like around like the middle size for them. Yeah, but to tell you the truth, Games Workshop has been absolutely killing it. 2023 was like the best year ever for miniatures. The books and lore have been amazing. 10th edition is absolutely awesome. They brought out like a bunch of new games, revised like a lot of old stuff. So I guess if I was going to pick like one more thing for the 40k universe, I would say like a Warhammer quest in the 40k universe. Blackstone Fortress was absolutely amazing. Curse City was like a fumbled launch and underwhelming. So I would love for them to go back to the 40k universe and do like a similar type like Blackstone Fortress game for Warhammer Quest. So let me know down below what you think we saw today, what you're excited to see. Always like to hear back from you guys in the comments. And of course, special thanks to CMO Games for sponsoring the video. Check out the link in the description to save 15% on Games Workshop products. Make sure to tell them that Warhammer Man sent you. That's it for today. Warhammer Man Studios. I'm Warhammer Man. And I cannot wait to see what's coming in 2024. And I'm out of here.